Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you about homonyms, homophones and homographs. To start off, do you know what homonyms are? Exactly. Homonyms are words that sound and are spelled the same but have different meanings. Here are two examples. Can you identify the homonym in the first example? Exactly. The word fly is the homonym in the first example. That's because in the first sentence, fly refers to an insect, whereas in the second sentence, fly refers to flying an object, in this case, a kite. Now, can you identify the homonym in the second example as well? That's right. The word letter is the homonym in the second example. That's because in the first sentence, letter refers to a letter written by a person. Whereas in the second sentence, letter refers to the alphabetical letter. Now, the proper definition of a homonym. Words that are spelt and pronounced the same but have different meanings are known as homonyms. Here are some few examples. I'm afraid of bats. Every day the boy takes his bat and goes to play with his friends. So in the first sentence, bat refers to the animal. Whereas in the second sentence, bat refers to a cricket bat. Let's take a look at another example. The dog always barks in the night. The bark of this tree is quite rough. So in the first sentence, bark refers to a barking dog. Whereas in the second sentence, bark refers to a tree's outer layer. Now, do you know what homographs are? Homographs are words that are spelled the same but have different pronunciation and different meaning. Can you identify the homograph in the first example? Exactly. The word bow and bow. So in the first sentence, she always wraps her presents with colorful bows. But in the second sentence, Japanese people always bow to show respect. Now they both sound different and mean different, but they are spelled the same. This is what homographs are. Can you identify the homograph in the second sentence as well? Exactly. The word minute and minute are homographs. Now, let's look at the proper definition of homographs. Homographs are words that are spelled the same but have different meanings and are not pronounced the same. So, here are some few examples. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. I gave up eating meat a few months ago. So in the first sentence, meat refers to meeting a person. And in the second sentence, meat refers to the food meat. Now, let's take another example. I'll see you later. The sea was calm. So in the first sentence, sea means to observe something with your eyes. And in the second sentence, sea refers to the water body. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with homophones. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different spellings and different meanings. So in the first example, he bought two packets of crisps. I'm going to the shop. So two and two, they both sound the same but have different meanings and different spellings. So they are homophones. Can you identify the homophone in the second example? Exactly. The word for and for. So they both sound the same but have different meaning and are spelled differently. Now, the proper definition of homophones are words that are pronounced the same but have different meanings and are spelled differently. Here are a list of homophones. Now, an example of a homophone in a sentence. I did not enjoy the film. He is blind in one eye. Now in the first sentence, I is used by a speaker to refer to himself or herself. And in the second sentence, I refers to the pair of organs that allow us to see, our eyes. Here are the differences between homophones, homographs and homonyms. Homophones sound the same but are spelled different and mean different. Homographs sound different but are spelled the same and mean different. And homonyms sound the same and are spelled the same but mean different. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries or questions, please feel free to comment them in the comment section below.
Thank you.